People in Volusia County are boarding up their shops and homes as they prepare to either hunker down or leave. Channel 9's Mike Springer live at Daytona Beach where some folks just finished repairing things from Matthew. And this scene here is very similar to Matthew just a few days before. The boardwalk had also emptied out just like it is now. The beach is also empty. But people are here still making some last-minute preparations as they get ready for Irma. The rush is on as people all over Volusia County try to get ready for Irma. The county issued mandatory evacuations for people living on the beachside in low-lying areas or in mobile homes in RVs. Many are packing up their things and leaving their homes for safer grounds. This one seems like it's going to be the worst of all of them yet. So we're not uh, going to take any chances. We're evacuating. Cities are also taking their own precautions. Daytona Beach's Main Street Pier will be closed by the end of the day tomorrow. The terminal at the Daytona Beach International Airport closes at 6 tomorrow night. New Smyrna Beach is boarding up its city and government buildings. Port Orange is inspecting storm drains and are pumping down retention ponds. Businesses along Daytona Beach's boardwalk are hauling in sandbags and boarding up their windows as they ready for Irma. Right now we're doing the best that we can. I mean, we uh, got some predictions that it's going to be a little bit of a devastating storm, so we're doing the best we can to prepare. Others are packing up what they can and leaving the rest behind. They don't know what will still be there when they return. The rest of it, you just have to look at it and say, hope it'll be here when I get back, but if it isn't, it isn't. The county is putting a curfew into effect that will take place Sunday at 4 p.m. For now, reporting live in Daytona Beach, Mike Springer, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.